now uh, we calculate uh, the electric field of a dipole and uh, we know that uh, the potential of a monopole is given by or a point charge is given by uh, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r and uh, the corresponding electric field is a negative gradient of potential so um, dou by dou r of this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q into dou by dou r of 1 over r that is um, now 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 uh, cube into minus 1 by r square is dou by dou r of this and negative of this negative gradient is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q by r square so we have uh, we all already know this this is nothing but the coulomb's law electric field of a point charge at a distance r from the point charge so now uh, we have to calculate the electric field of a pure dipole pure dipole means it has uh, only the dipolar term in the expansion uh, so the monopole term and uh, the um, other uh, higher order terms other than the dipole terms that means the quadrupole octopole terms are all uh, zeros uh, so such a dipole is formed by two charges with a very small distance between them that means d tends to zero and uh, uh, q uh, so uh, that is the pure dipole okay so now um, uh, for uh, a pure dipole if we choose uh, the coordinate such that uh, the p lies at um, origin and uh, points along the z direction so and uh, uh, r is here theta is here phi is marked over here so now uh, we have already seen that, uh, the potential due to a pure dipole a dipole is given by v dipole is equal to uh, r cap dot p by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square or p dot r by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square uh, or uh, in the um, so p dot r can be written as p into cos theta theta is the angle between p and r p cos theta by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square so now we have to calculate the uh, electric field so uh, this equation is in the spherical polar coordinate system in terms of r and theta so in order to calculate the electric field we have to use uh, the spherical polar coordinate system e is equal to negative gradient of potential so we know that uh, gradient of a quantity in spherical polar coordinate system is given by dou v by dou r mm, into r cap uh, plus 1 over r into dou v by dou theta uh, theta cap uh, plus uh, 1 over r sin theta uh, dou v by uh, dou phi okay so uh, now the negative of gradient electric field which is the negative of gradient of potential is minus will be there in all terms okay and uh, so this term corresponds to er so we have a uh, three components uh, uh, er e theta and e phi in spherical co polar coordinate system so now we have to calculate er e theta and uh, e phi separately er is nothing but uh, minus dou v by dou r so that is uh, minus dou by dou r of uh, p cos theta by uh, 4 pi epsilon 0 r square so the derivative of uh, 1 over r square is uh, or r raised to minus 2 is minus 2 uh, into uh, r raised to uh, minus 3 that is uh, 1 over r cube so these are all constants and a minus is also here p cos theta by 4 pi epsilon 0 into this so minus minus will be plus so 2 p cos theta divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube and uh, now uh, e theta that is 
minus uh, 1 over r dou v by dou theta. Okay. Uh, minus uh, 1 over r dou v by dou theta. So that is minus 1 over r into dou by dou theta of v. v is nothing but p cos theta by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square. So here we are taking with derivative with respect to theta. So uh, p divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 uh, r square is a constant. And uh, we know that the derivative of uh, cos theta is equal to uh, minus sin theta okay so minus into minus will be plus uh, so we have p sin theta by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square into r is r cube and uh, e phi is equal to 1 over r sin theta dou v by dou phi but v is independent of phi you know, since v is a function of r and theta alone so dou v by dou phi is uh, zero okay so therefore e phi is equal to zero so it's total electric field is uh, uh, e theta e r r cap plus uh, e theta theta cap so that is equal to uh, 2p uh, cos theta by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube into r cap. So that is e r plus e theta is uh, p sin theta divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube into theta cap. So here uh, we can see that uh, p by 4 pi epsilon 0. So we have an r cube over here. 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube is a common factor. So, 2 cos theta r cap plus sin theta theta cap. So, this is the electric field vector uh, and uh, you can find the magnitude of electric field also. So, that is uh, root of uh, e theta e r square plus uh, e theta square. So, please calculate the uh, magnitude also. This is equal to p by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube in the 4 root of 4 cos square theta plus sin square theta. We 4 cos square theta is lower cos square theta. Now we can note it down. But 3 cos square theta plus 2 square theta plus sin square theta. So cos square theta plus sin square theta and we are in the 1 and so this can be also written as uh, p by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube uh, into root of 3 cos square theta plus uh, 1. Okay. So, this is the expression for the electric field of a pure dipole. But uh, in this uh, formula, we use the spherical polar coordinate system and uh, we assume a particular orientation for uh, P. So, we have assumed that the P points uh, along uh, Z direction. So, this equation makes explicit reference to the particular coordinate system which is the spherical polar coordinate system and a particular orientation for P that means along Z direction. So, this uh, equation can be also expressed in the coordinate uh, free, free form and uh, it is given by E dipole uh, of R is equal to uh, one over uh, four pi epsilon zero r cube the three p dot r cap uh, vector r cap minus p so please get this expression this is an assignment for you uh, please uh, remember that uh, these are uh, this p as a vector here and this is also a vector p here so this is an electric field uh, vector here okay so here it is the magnitude p okay now uh, we have seen that uh, electric field of a dipole varies as uh, 1 over r cube and uh, we have seen that uh, electric field of a monopole varies as uh, 1 over r square okay 
uh, so the electric field is proportional to electric field of a dipole is proportional to 1 over uh, r cube and that of a monopole is proportional to 1 over r square so then the reason is that potential 1 over r square is proportional in the dipole in the case le, apo, or gradient one apo, or 1 over r kuda, one over r cube by. That is the point charge and potential 1 over r is proportional. That is the gradient of the electric field 1 over r square is proportional. That is the quadrupole field. The quadrupole field varies as e quadrupole varies as uh, 1 over r cube by 1 over r square and uh, e octopole varies as 1 over r to 4 and, uh, e power 5 and uh, so on. Okay. So, uh, the gradient introduces another uh, 1 over r. So, now uh, this figure shows the electric field lines of a pure dipole. So, now uh, this uh, is the uh, electric field lines of a physical dipole. So, if we uh, neglect or uh, blot out the center region, those two pictures will be uh, similar but uh, actually they are entirely uh, different so uh, the actual dipole is like this uh, but uh, basically we can create dipoles with a very small distance uh, between them uh, so in this case d tends to uh, zero so um, we uh, have the electric field in the pure dipole. But the physical dipole is applicable to the uh, We have to uh, choose the distance r such that r is very, very, very much greater than d. We have to apply the electric field in the physical dipole. Okay, so upon another or physical dipole, a pure dipole, an equivalent angle, only distance are increasing and lingle this separation distance d in the varina smaller akana. So, um, uh, the physical dipole can be approximated into a pure dipole when uh, we increase r. So, by going to uh, larger r values or uh, by skewing the charges very close together so that the separation distance is very small so uh, and such that r r is very much greater than d in any case so namaku then is d my uh, decrease either to e condition and chivium and lingle r increase either to namke e condition and chivium. Angani la situation la namko the physical dipole ne the pure dipole like the approximate yam but angani an angle if r is very much greater than d we can calculate the electric field of a physical dipole according to the expression e dipole is equal to p by 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube uh, into uh, 2 cos theta r cap plus sin theta theta cap of r is very much greater than d. So, this is the electric field of the pure dipole in spherical polar coordinate system and uh, in coordinate free form uh, the electric field of the physical dipole if r is uh, very much greater than d is given by e dipole r is equal to 1 over uh, 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube 3 into p dot r cap uh, vector r cap minus vector p okay thank you